We have James Gill. Uh, you probably uh, know of him or are familiar with his work um, on madi.io uh, in browser IDE. Um, today, he is going to tell you about a new logger for Meteor. Hi, well, I'm James, as she said, and uh, Madai is a kind of complex multi-component app, and we've thought a lot about logging, and we've tried Winston and log for Node.js or whatever, and pretty much didn't like any of them. So we built our own, and my hope is that it might be something that would be useful for you guys as well. So let me sort of talk about why we think it's cool. So one of the things we found very important, of course, is logging at different levels, like trace, debug, info, warn, error. Um, but also, something that we missed from our log4j days back in the Java land was that the loggers themselves might have some name or some identification, and we can actually like, get a handle of them for that. So let's just, let's just take this thing for a spin, uh, and I will show you, and hopefully it, will, um, hopefully it won't be too small. Um, so you know, we have something that's actually a little bit noisy here, right? And oh, there's a bunch of things. Maybe there's Ron, Hermione, and Harry talking. Um, so let's just, let's just quiet this for a second. OK, so now we're just going to see the important things, like the errors and the warnings, and that's great. But you know, one thing we've learned is that Hermione has a lot of really interesting things to say. And maybe we don't care about what Ron and Harry are saying right now, but um, we always care about what Hermione is saying. So let's just always see everything she says, and everything else is pretty quiet. Like, OK. Hmm? Harry, you know, Harry is, um, you know, he's warning, so we've got to listen to him sometimes. But we're not going to listen to everything he says. But you know, um, so this is all cool. But uh, actually, there's something even cooler, which is that maybe, uh, maybe there's other packages out there. And we maybe would listen to like a whole package or quite a whole package at the same time. So let's, uh, let's listen to the Order of the Phoenix here. Um, so now all of a sudden, Sirius, you see Phoenix colon Sirius, and, and in a second, uh, Phoenix colon Remus is there. But kind of Sirius is a little whiny. So let's actually let's, uh, let's shut him up. Or at least just, uh, let's see if I can spell his name right. I always spell it wrong. Um, at least ignore some of his stuff. It's like, OK. So now what we have is we have, for the most part, we only listen to warnings and errors. Hermione will listen to everything. For the Phoenix people, well, we listen to uh, info and above. Or sorry, for Phoenix people, we listen to sort of everything, except for the Phoenix serious guy that we only listen to sort of his info and above. So that's all cool. But um, what's even cooler is that in, uh, in Meteor, of course, everything should be written both for client and server. Um, so in this case, we can do all the same thing on the server. Um, and it's a little harder to do sort of dynamic level changing, but you can. If you find an error from something, you can uh, up the error for that component for the next 90 seconds if you want. Um, or you can just change environment variables, restart your app, no code changes, and you have different uh, levels. But what's also even cooler, because we do uh, stuff in Node and Meteor, is we want the same package and the same interface for both. So it works for Node as well. Um, so my vision in 10 seconds is I'd actually love it if I, I want to, I'm, I'm fighting some sort of bug and I think, okay, I don't want to care about my packages most of the time, but right now I think the bug's actually somehow influencing with like Iron Router. So I want to just pump up the, uh, the logging levels for Iron Router and see everything and maybe quiet some components and sort of listen to more on other components. And so if we all put this in our, in our uh, packages, we can actually have a very good debugging tool. Thank you, I'm done. Oh, it's, uh, it's not quite on Meteor yet, but it is, uh, you can clone it and do it. And I'll put it up on Meteor as soon as a couple people use it and iron out the bugs. Questions? How do you, uh, um, how do you make it persist in session? Uh, the, how do I make it persist? Uh, how do I make the, the levels persist? Uh, well, I mean, so right now, part of the, the early stage is that it, it appends everything to the console and not to files, so that it doesn't actually persist yet. But you can sort of put in different appenders. The API for that is not super clean, but I want to make it cleaner. You can put different appenders that uh, can write to a database or Redis or a file or whatever and do it selectively. It's also very cheap. If you're not listening to an event, like to a log message, then it's very cheap. It's an event that never gets listened to. It's a very cheap operation. So you can sort of do everything and listen to only the things you care about to file, say. Any more questions? Great. All right. Thanks.